Okay, let's so let's uh, for the final problem in our discussion, let's solve this piece. This is a relatively hard problem. This is a relatively cute problem, I should say. Uh, uh, the problem, the title of this problem is Laglagan na. A block of mass M starts from rest at a height H and slides down a plane inclined at an angle theta with the horizontal as shown. The plane is rough with coefficient of friction mu k until it reaches the platform of a spring of force constant k for which the block becomes frictionless. So there are two regions in the plane. One plane, um, one part of the plane is rough, while the other part of the plane where the, the spring resides is smooth. So major don't major ano raw. Tignan natin paano i-drawing yung dialogue ngayon. But let X be the compression of the spring when the box is momentarily at rest. What is X in terms of the given quantity? So, ang tinatanong dito, what is the maximum compression of the spring? This is now in terms of the given quantities M, H, K, theta, mu K, and K. Okay, so I'll just show you the solution to this problem. Um, this is a relatively challenging problem. Okay. Okay, so um, now we have this problem here. Let me redraw it. Let me redraw this problem. So, I have again a box a box, an inclined plane, where in the box is at the, this is the position of the box, and this is the position of, of, of the spring. So this is the um, base of the spring, this is some platform. And this height here is some H, no? okay? This height here is some H, and there is a region for which the, 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 the block, medyo nakihan ko na lang tong spring para mas kita. Okay, tanggalin ko to. Ay, natanggal din yung, uh, yung inclined. So this is the incline. So this is the this is the um, platform of the spring. Tapos dito sa position na to, etong region na to rough yan. This is rough. Rough yan. Tapos this region here smooth na ito. Okay, this is has some mu k. And this height here is some h. Ganyan yung system. So there are two states. So the first state is this box here. So this is the first state, the initial state. And then the final state looks like this. So we still have the same box, same incline, but the spring now is compressed. Um, this is the platform. This is now the box. Uh, this is now the box. And then this is still the height of the particle of the of the incline wherein this is some height h but this is now the total distance or the maximum compression of the spring ganyan yung itsura niya so pag pagbagsak niya pagbagsak niya bumaba siya ganun tapos dumikit and some and it reaches some distance x uh, from the from the spring okay so ganun yung magiging itsura now the question now is uh, Observe here that there is some frictional force. Hence, conservation of mechanical energy is not true anymore. So instead of using E1 equals E2, what we need to use in this particular uh, problem is we need to use the equation W and C, which is equal to minus F delta S. Uh, F delta S is equal to E2 minus E1. So we need to determine first the change in mechanical energy of the system. And then after that, we need to relate it with the frictional force exerted on the system. Okay. Now, uh, natin. so first, what is initial um, energy E1? Okay. So what I will do is to set, since there is a change in height, I will set my uh, there should be a change in gravitational potential energy. And therefore, I can set my height here to be at the boundary between the rough part and the smooth part of the incline. So I'll set my y equals 0 at this part. So nandiyan yung aking y equals 0. Okay. So therefore, what is my initial um, potential, my initial energy E1, which is just equal to 1 half the initial kinetic energy plus the initial gravitational potential energy plus initial elastic potential energy okay now remember uh, the part the box is at rest uh, uh, before it uh, it slides down therefore there should be no uh, kinetic energy zero yan tapos uh, hindi rin nag interact yung box dun sa spring therefore there should be no elastic potential energy there and thus the initial um, mechanical energy of the system is simply mg times h where h is the height um given in our coordinate system. Remember, sinet ko yung height ko um, from y equals 0 up to the, up to, up to that, um, up to the position of the, 
of the of the block. Okay, so so therefore the initial energy is mgh. What about the final energy? What about the final energy? What can we say about the final energy? So now we know that there is some compression in the spring. So I can write this as one half m v two squared plus m g y two plus one half k x two squared. However, again the um the box is more entirely at rest at the time that it compresses with the spring. Therefore, uh this should be zero. Now um. We know that the compression of the spring is one of kx is, uh, is x. Therefore, I can now write this as simply one half kx squared, which is okay. Now, the question now is what is the final potential energy of the system? Is it zero? No, it's not zero because again, uh, the compression now is below is below the con our convention of what, what y equals zero is. Therefore, meron kang potential energy contribution because of the compression of the spring. And that is this height here this height here defined by this x so if theta is the angle between um so let me let me redraw this so meron akong parang um trapezoid so this is some x this is some sorry theta this is x so what is this height here that is the height of the of the of the uh the height um, of the block after it reached um, after it compresses with the spring, after the spring compresses above. Okay, so this is just equal to what? This is just like a triangle, right? And you, what you would determine is the is the opposite um, side, and you get the you don't you have the hypotenuse, and how, then and hence we from Sokotoa we know that this is simply this is simply x sine theta, right? So therefore, I get the final energy to be this becomes a negative because uh um ang hinahanap ko na lang ay yung distance so i'll just set this to be negative m g x sine theta okay let's nakuha questions may tanong ba walang tanong wala okay now okay so now what about the the frictional force so, ah the work due to friction uh, yes, the WNC, which is equal to negative change in thermal in energy uh, in energy dissipation, is simply minus F delta S. So again, recall recall that the frictional force is related to the normal force, and this is simply mu K times the normal force. But in this particular problem, what is the normal force? And naalala nyo pa yung ginagawa nyo ngayon sa first exam, di ba? Kung naalala nyo yun, syempre, meron akong incline, incline, tapos box, tapos I can define, I can draw a free body diagram there. So this is the weight of the object. So this is the normal force of the object. Tapos I have, um this is the frictional force. Assuming that it goes, uh, de, baliktad. Upward dapat yan. This should be the frictional force kasi downward yung um, direction ng, ng velocity. So, and by doing so, you one can show that this is simply mu k mg cosine theta, right? Because the weight will be decomposed in this direction. So I have an mg cosine theta component here, and I have an mg sine theta component here. Therefore, uh, the normal force is equal to, uh, by using Newton's first law, you see that it's just mg cosine theta. Kung di nyo naalala si MG cosine theta, pakibalikan yung video lectures on that, on Newton's, um, on Newton's laws, on applications of Newton's laws. But the point here is that the work due, um, due to the friction is simply minus mu k mg s cosine theta. But what is s there? What is s? s is the height of is the total distance here. Diba? So ayan yung distance na yun. Ganyan kahaba na yan. Pero... We did not then alam, wala namang given S sa problem. Diba? Ang given ay H. Therefore, we need to express S, express S in terms of H. And from geometry, so we know that this is S. And if it's theta, this is H. Therefore, S is simply what? Balik na doon nangyari kanina. Kanina, ang given ay X. So, hinahanap po yung height. Ngayon, given yung height, hinahanap po yung hypotenuse. Therefore, S sine theta 
equals h and therefore h is simply s over i sorry and therefore s now is equal to h over sine theta so this is what we want so h is equal to uh sorry s is equal to h over sine theta and thus the work due to not due to the non-conservative force is simply mu k mg times h over sine theta times cosine theta implying that the work due to non-conservative force is simply mu k mg h cotangent theta oy may cotangent function that is what we want so meron na tayong tatlong unknown so uh, alam na natin that this is this um the initial energy we know the initial mechanical energy we know the final mechanical energy and we know the dissipation the the work due to non-conservative force or the energy due to dissipation and therefore we can combine all these three equations into our energy relation uh, now thus since e2 since e2 minus e1 is wnc we see that uh, this is just equal to substituting equations one two and three in in our uh in our um equation four this is equation four we see that okay i have what one half kx squared minus mgx sine theta minus mgh diba? minus mgh is equal to minus mu k mgh cotangent theta okay okay tama 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 ba nakuha gets okay so if i transfer this to the other side of the equation so what i will have is simply um one half kx squared minus mgx kx squared minus mgx sine theta or i will write this as mg sine theta x quantity x minus um plus an mgh quantity one uh sorry a um, mu k cotangent cotangent theta um then minus one is equal to zero okay Tama. I transferred MGH here. I get a mu k cotangent theta minus one. And this is now a quadratic equation again, which can be solved using your quadratic formula. If I set this to be my A, I set this to be my B, and I set this large expression to be my C, I know the solution for this quadratic equation. And hence, I can say that, okay, I therefore, hence, solving for X, we now have x is simply equal to mg sine theta plus or minus a relatively large expression um, b squared mg sine theta quantity squared minus 4 times 1 half k times this expression here mgh times mu k cotangent theta minus 1 yeah wait lang let me let me uh let me move this let me move this so, so okay para ayan. Ayan. so uh, ayan. mgh times mu k cotangent theta minus one um all raised to one half divided by twice me one half k okay so that's the that's the form of the equation that we have. And um, thus, simplifying um, something here, medyo mahirap simplify. <laughs> medyo mahaba kasi siya. And therefore, we got x equals mg, mg over k sine theta plus or minus 1 over k multiplied by, multiplied by an mg sine theta quantity squared minus 2k I uh, two mghk multiplied by mu k cotangent theta 
minus one quantity raised to one half. That is the final answer. Do you see now why it is a difficult problem? Mukha pa lang eh. Yeah. Nakuha? Nakuha tong expression na to? Do you get this problem? Nakuha? Nakuha yan? I hope you get it. Okay? Gets? Okay. Oh, kapagod na. 